the grand finals in an absolutely un. Stops it in the track. Set up here, Drake has rotated over to the mid lane, the bash. Like we mentioned in the crush, but Ollie gonna help his buddy out, and are they actually gonna turn this on the Yoe? Nicely done, and Drake trying desperately to finish that off, but the last oh. auto attack from the Shadow Demon lands right before the missed call can connect. But yeah, Ollie has just been performing so so well. Q, bumped back by the same break, nicely set up using the to fog him. This Rubik might be in some trouble. Palos and Yotan are dropping low though. The nice net to keep their place. And here comes Oli yet again. With the missed call, just secures the troll. And now they're making the chase down onto this bat rider. Meanwhile though, Yoe does get a kill on Armel in that mid lane with the help of Drake. But Yotan might be the price. Wand up. All you need is one more missed coil, but Yotan, beautiful flame break to create the distance. Slowly but surely farming up a storm. And this rotation from Yotan could be exactly that. Come through with the bad rider lasso available, but the immediate response Aurora, they brought the members as well. Q is here, stolen Chakram, but they're pulling in 23. He's able to morph strength up. The pull is here as well, but so much burst! Just cut through that timber saw. The stolen truck and Q, he's doing so much work! They morph into the timber and they steal his chakram at that. Double up on the cut potential. And Yotan looks like he'll just narrowly oh. make it through. A little bit of that regen, but oh, they chased him right through the Twin Gates. Amel doesn't want to let him go just yet, but if 20 is able to morph into the Timber Saw, or hell, even the Slada, it could spell big trouble. They're chasing now onto Yowei. He's shown his face in the mid lane, jump forward, crush onto him. A bit of a taste of his own medicine. Like you mentioned, maybe it's just the focus on the farm for now. They're scaling up in their own way, levels pretty even across the board. It's really just Ollie who's struggling a little bit. Top side, they've got the punch out onto Palos, but I don't think they have the damage to him just yet. It's just jabs with the two support. And in comes Boss Moon with that Shiva, tagging up everybody on Aurora. But 23, he's ready to play. Comes in, shoots in Jotun. Crushed out onto the Mega Meepo, but oh, Armel, he's shown up. It's a one for one trade right now, and it's not exactly even. Palos, boss to pop that ultimate if he drops low and starts to chop out onto the poor Ember Spirit. Armel doesn't stand a chance as Q. Still trying to play around in the tree line. But once again, it's just your two supports alongside 23 and Boss Boo. He's still full HP. Nice jukes from Ollie to skirt away from that chakram with the Shivas. That's going to present a way bigger problem. 23 left high and dry, but still able to waveform through. Clean up your way. That's the and yeah. Sidar, he's got a little bit of single target damage as well with that Echo Saber. Meepo, the Mega Meepo, is not the saving grace that you'd like it to be. Is the safety remnant available for Armel? He's gonna have to fly way to it, but that's where Yotan was waiting! Spots him right out, and Yoe, with that blink, will hunt him down. Aurora, still are feeling confident with this timing that they've got, though. Running forward, straight up across to Nepping him up, and he's all alone down here. Shivas or not, he'll go down. Cut him down to size. Is they understand when their timing is, right? They understand Hold. when to hit their timing. I don't know whether I'm gonna be hit or whether Jeff's gonna get smacked. He blinks in to the mix, finds the backline, but meanwhile the fight's completely scattered. Yoe tries to blink and get the morphling, but already dodging out. Hello, everything's so messy. You're getting a drag back onto Armel, but now he's the one killing you off. Q is gonna go down, no more sneaky chakram as we clean up the backline. Get the first life of the Miko. He's committed up far too deep for this Shadow Demon who has the Agony Scepter complete already. And Jabs is gonna go down a second time. A bit of a disconnect in terms of what Aurora were trying to accomplish there. Jabs just pulls the trigger, jumps in. But the rest of Darling, they were well and ready. Not just yet, as Ollie just get tagged up. Palos to make quick work of this poor Abaddon. No more borrowed time. Aurora, not even needing a smoke, just making a beeline straight for this pit. It seems like they can do it quite in time as closing in is Jazz to see Dare blink in. Goes on the move, brings the net out, but didn't actually commit. It'll be 23. Just wave bombs into his own death! Just gets evaporated. Beautiful crush from Yoe to lock him in place. And disaster for Aurora as they need to retreat. Ollie gonna be forced to pop the ball time. But he's locked up. They want Armel. That'll be the bigger kill. And the disruption finds him. It's daytime vision. You're going nowhere. Even the lasso for good measure. Yotan will give his life up for it, but Talos was waiting right at the remnant. Ollie will die as well. You get the Aegis, you get three, and you only lose your bet. So it's a very tricky situation for 23 to pilot up. It feels like if he goes in, he dies. If he doesn't, he dies. Either way, it's a lose lose situation. Like you mentioned, it almost feels like you need to get a little creative with it. Start things out onto Boss Boo. Snapping him up, but not gonna connect as he's able to just walk his way out of there. Uh oh, Yoe has got the touch of the Jazz, but that's what the dig is for. Hiding away underground. 
taking turns to just burrow, just playing some whack and mole, Dali will have to. It's a nice crush on the mopping again, and they have the control, he needs to get out, able to pop the BKB, turn back onto Yoe, but he just gets healed up, and the mopping doesn't stand a chance. Hello stands his ground, BKB delivers, and just smacks 23 down into the curb. Looking nothing compared to this puddle that Yoe is swimming in, just trampling and swimming right through you. As jabs, he mega meeples up, but again, Shadow Demon is slowing down the Shiva so much control. You'll actually buy back on 23 this fight. Amel wants to get the touch on the paddle to get the first life. But the rest of the side of Darling are still standing around. You gotta watch for the Timber Top who ends up going down anyway. Yoe now in a little bit of a pickle. This buyback actually working out for Aurora. They pulled the trigger on the most expensive one in the game. And if they get paddles, that will be more than worth it. The desperate net coming through. That's the lift. That's the only instant disable they have. And they'll put it to work. Finish off paddles as well. And as the dust settles, I think Aurora, they must have come out on top of that one. So even if you don't commit onto him, there's nothing stopping him from just running into that prior uh, impact zone that I mentioned, like in between the chakrams, right into the slada and taking that fall damage. Down Q out. Freebie there. Still uh, advantages uh, in terms of the numbers for now. Give Talos a couple of buddies that hit the tower with. Oh yeah, he's jumping forward for the blink, but Jabs, he's straight on to Yodan on the back line. Once again, the main people threaten, he has to mega up, but they're standing their ground and delivering. Jabs, he's in trouble, and he's gonna be able to just narrowly take out of there. 23 against Palos once again, but forced the wave bomb out. They're fully committing on the Nico, and he doesn't stand a chance. Oli, with that Agonist, managing to actually keep him alive for now, but he's finally gonna go down as Jabs scurrying his way desperate out here. The new setup is there, and they'll just crush the Nico back down to Earth. No more digging for you. Palos actually forced to pop the ultimate. 23 morphing into that timber saw. But now he's left high and dry. Ice to pit by that Chivas. And Armel doesn't stand a chance as well. 100 seconds without your morphling. Can't help but feel like this is gonna be the end. There's nothing stopping the troll from just laying into your buildings other than his low HP. He's gonna just go back to that creep camp, use the satanic, and Drake's still coming forward with the setup. Armel forced to buy back. He feels like he has to do just about everything here, but he can't afford to commit in to what might be his potential dieback. That'll be the end of the game. Yotan does go down, and the heroes on the side of Darling are low, but not Palos. Managing to get back up to full HP thanks to that satanic, and he'll continue the beatdown onto this Rex. Maybe not the game ender just yet, but at the very minimum, two sets. They go for T4s, they might. <laughs> they might. Well, you gotta watch yourself. The hex out, the control, it's there. Can't really connect with the axes from Palos, though. Can't similar situation for the Timber, right? The EHP is insane, and now that additional bit of control with the hex. Jabs has one as well, but oh, Yoei. Look at where he's positioned. They jump up onto Jazz, but have they sort of caught an off angle here? It's two heroes on the side of Darling in the midst of everyone on Aurora, but who's sandwiching who? Yoei will just turn around, start controlling Armel up. Jazz. Scatter, 23 trying to enter the fight, look at the target focus, it's on to Drake but he's forced to BKB, 23, he's dropping so low, you want to get out of here but still need to do the damage, he's got a full commit but Yoei turns his side towards 23 and you've already lost Drake on the backside, decent start for the fight but Ollie down as well, both safe supports for both sides, going down as 23, desperately has to waveform away the entire side of Darling, just looking at it as Jabs, able to clean up but you're losing your Morphling again! I mean, Jab stays alive for a crazy amount of time, but 23, he really feels like the only one who can put a stop to them, and he's the one getting stamped down to earth. Roshan is up. If Darling wanted to turn tail and go back to the Roshan, but 23 once again to just kind of hit his back as long as again. Jab's gonna try and commit in, force the buyback from Ollie, but the people already going down. 95 seconds about Jab, and suddenly. This might actually be it this time. Q, he's gonna try his best. Delay them with the charge room as well as the lifts, but one crush from Yoe could just be falling flat. The only member missing is Drake, and they don't even need him to just melt that Rubik down straight onto the tier falls. Yeah, I think they've done it. Two on Aurora, I, I, I just don't really have an answer. They looks like that right now. You can't, darling. Have they just done it in this game? Number one here, Ollie. Trying to buy as much time as possible, but as you know with the Abaddon, it's nothing but moral. It's a nice hex to control, but Armel, not much else he can do. He flies away to the opposite side of the map, doesn't even want to witness its own ancient falling. It's too painful to bear as Palos, Cuckoo and the gang will take away game number one in what was the closest game we've seen in a very, very long while for Aurora. Oh, they go back for the Armel Sniper. This is a favorite of his.
Brings it out at every chance that he can get. Yildan, once again, getting aggressive. Uh, nice setup from the dual lane, and Yildan looking to go down with that Acon shot bouncing around. It's more than enough damage. Q and Jazz get it done. Mage Slayer Sniper. I'm not too surprised. Up to the bomb onto Oli. Wouldn't mind dying for a carry, but that's only if 23 can get out of here. They'll still commit into this area. They know he doesn't want to lose out on the EXP. Starting to commit in. Oh, here comes Palos as well. This is the gank that we're talking about. Through the squad to save this poor Luna. Hoof damage gonna come through, but Oli holding his ground again and saving his cause. Gold comes second for Puck, I think. Well, I mean, speaking of the abilities, doing some out now. Trying to come in with the jabs. Palos still positioned around this area. Looks like they were just up for Oli. It's a nice arena and a lot of damage onto this poor little Meepo who just gets melted down. Meanwhile, Borrow Time comes up. And there's nothing else to be found here. I want to get things going. They'd love to find 23 and they're right on path to spot him out. Easy kill here. How much to be done? Finger of death as 23. Turns around actually doing quite a meaningful bit of damage to the lion. To start making a move. Even without it though, they want to set on the boss who finally trying to get the Timbers off. Where's the bushwhack? Not in time. Huge. Waited out a bit too long and ends up missing that opportunity. A little bit of a slip up. Meanwhile, mid lane with the help of Ollie, 23 will stay alive to that aggressive move. They actually committed both the finger as well as the coil here. 23, more than enough stats. The straight in of the Nico, the Palos is in trouble. Armel doing quite a significant amount of damage, but Jab just smacks them down with a rebuke. Q able to answer right back, but with the Lotus and the Shivas, I don't think there's enough damage in the tank to deal with them. Oli, use that borrowed time in the mid lane to help out 23. It's just been so annoying. Dancing around them, playing the place. Yolta's no direct control. Eclipse forced out from 23 on the front lines as Bosco and Drake just fully retreat. You've always been able to snipe out Oli. Just being so, so annoying. Somewhere, somehow, the snipers died. We must have missed it along the way. Dancing around them, fully free, sniping people off on the back line. And there's nothing much that Amel and the gang can do about it. The start Dream calling up onto him as well. Immediately, Ollie's there to try for the save, but they don't really coordinate it the break in time. They've just killed off Drake though. Taking out that lion, there aren't going to be any additional disables as the entire side of Aurora comes through. Nice arena from Jazz just to catch him with a sharp shoot the break as well. well this reactive armor isn't going to do a thing. Accumulate net worth on all of your cores, wait until that second aid is and then push the high down. Who is set up? Nice God's tribute to stop that Timber Chain from coming out and Wicker Shot with a new Sword Timber Sword dead. Atos just for good measure and Jet is on a monster kill streak. Always being very, very aware of their timing. Got a bit derailed in that game number one and might be derailed here if Drake is able to blink in the middle of them and get the mana drain, but no! Jabs just completely obliterates him. You call on the back line, but you can't find a thing. Palos, he's trying to commit, but 23 still has that second life. Just baiting away. There's Jabs again. Another arena finding your way. Eating the hex to the face, though. And another little stun Drake. He's bought back into this fight, and they've taken down Jabs. The godlike streak over. Yotan coming in a little bit too late. With that lasso as Ollie, another beautiful apotic shield. Puts a stop to it. Drake, he's just lining these up over and over. It'll connect onto a kill. Not only on the Luna's first life, but the Abaddon as well. Without their supporting cast, can they still stand? The sniper has gone down, and it looks like Darling, they're able to defend. The shot from the Luna, they need to watch that damage, though. It's cutting through the last people of the Palos. You just need to finish him off. One Lucent Beam is on a take Q. Trying to find that Acorn, but gets smacked down by Yoei. Now they can just dance around 23 and kite him to absolute death. And Lucent Beam doesn't work when he's magic immune. The net. No. They're just playing around with this sad, sad Luna. No more allies to work with. The blink up to the high ground, Yoei. Oh no, he's gonna oh. get sliced apart. Palos. Palos. Oh, get the Palos too. Okay, no way. No way. No, oh, so oh. close. So, oh so close. Game where Ollie's like working overtime just to try and keep his Aurora cost alive. And putting him yeah. in such a rough spot that he's more than delivered. Armel again. You can't afford for the sniper to go down, but so much burst. And Jabs, he'll come through, blink away. And get the chase, beautiful net, forcing the arena out. They actually buy back onto Armel, they know they need to take this fight, but Oli doesn't have the borrow time. He used that for the Tormentor, and now Q, he's in a little bit of trouble, has to use the Sharpshooter to try and run through the tree line. Oli will give him a strange party missed coil there as Drake standing ground 23. He needs to deliver big time in this fight. Armel still being able to escape, turns around, gets the snipe down onto the park. And it looks like Darling, they've overcommitted for this move. The buyback from Armel pays off big time. They will kill Boss Q as well. 
still see him. That Shiva's the Acorn maintaining the vision. The assassinate. TP not in time. Armel with a triple. Again. I just, uh, man, connects Armel is not here. Dude, Armel is playing so far back. Kind of happy. Wait, coming forward, they just stun! They evaporate him and he doesn't stand a chance! 23 is just gonna stand in front of his palace, tries to lay into the Luna, but this is where you're the most dangerous! How dare you step into my territory! The walls of the arena sentence you to your death! As Aurora obliterate their opponents here, you make a meepo out of Palos, he has to disperse and run! Where's the chase down Jax? He's right there to meet him and won't let Palos go unscathed! Boss who's desperately trying to do whatever he can! But this game, this fight, Armel and 23 are untouched! And they obliterate their opponents there. Yoei desperately trying to join away, but you know Jams is hungry. He'll be looking, looking for a spear. Juked out. In comes Yoei though. Giving his team some vision, but just some nice off plays coming around again. Here comes Bosco. Uh oh, things are gonna start to get hairy. 23, holding. Standing as well, and he needs to grab that Aegis Force, pop the BKB, and he'll be able to snatch it. The mask straight onto Drake again, and Amel evaporates him. Palos, he's turned into this Mega Meepo, but there's nowhere to go. Held up by the Glide from Q, and you're trying to borrow, trying to dig out of here. Boss who comes in to just distract them. Hello, look at me, I'm a streamer, they don't care. They'll just shoot you down. Lucent Beam melts that Timber Sword down to size. And the last touches Amel with a double jab, lines him all up. Yeah, the early Atos just really. Tipping the side down up as well. Now they are in a troublesome position. It might not all be Drake, but it's a pickle for sure. Force to use up. Setup is still dead. Shang-Chi is holding him in place with the move. Is he just gonna die? 23, it's a nice little meta to try and dodge that Earth Spike. But right now, Q's the one in trouble. They finish up Abaddon and the supporting cast of Aurora goes down. Bye back onto Kuku. Do you still want to take this fight? Armel, force about the BKB, still dismantled by the physical. 23, standing his ground, gonna lose that first life as Palos and Cuckoo off of that Timbersaw buyback they might be in trouble now but that's the fit the big bad Luna will just TP out of here and escape perhaps has to TP but I think this is a stand on the field that might have been a mistake try now the lingering duration will get him out of there the case whereby Armel just gets destroyed right next to Luna you, you don't really have that same problem Oh, still feels strong though the setup is there and beautiful Hex that's the reveal from Jax Gonna get an easy pick off onto Drake again. Yeah, the racks, they're just gonna melt. Yeah, they don't have Luna chance. just doing Radiant Luna things. Again, Boss who can do nothing but present himself as a juicy target, but as something juicy and 23, he's not gonna get distracted. Has a habit of a committing for kills where he doesn't really have to. Hopefully that's not the case at all. Palo jumps the back line again. It's found on Mel forcing the BKB out. But that's what Ollie's there for. Keeping Cypher safe again. And it's a beautiful hoodwing bushwhack that just grabs all the meeples to that tree. Bayonet them all to death. One little assassinate as well. Yowei trying his best with a beautiful coil. Yotun looking for an opening, but he runs straight into 23. That's not the target that he wants. Forced to just blink away, but Jabs has found him and Jabs has him killed. Dude, Aurora. Heroes. They want to end the game right now. They've even bought back on Ollie Bosco coming in. Trying to catch them off guard with the blade mail, and they might just have done the trick. 23, he's dropping low and ends up going down. Not really expecting that, but Aurora, they pull the trigger on the buybacks. This could create a very big opening if Darling unable to respond. It's a 5v2 situation. 30 seconds without parallels. They want to secure the mega creeps. And nothing will stop them from doing so. Yoei will try. You choose to try and end the game. Looks like it. Aurora, they want to push this to a game number three. They want to even the score. And it looks like they'll be able to do so. One glyph available for the side of Darling. They'll be forced to pop it. Oh, the instant hex. Yo, wait. He just gets melted. 95 seconds without your power. And even with the Meepo coming up, I don't know whether you stand a chance for Curse of Avernus, allowing this Luna to just go completely brazy mode. And this Ancient is down. One to one. We're in the best of three, Crash. We are getting ever closer to finding out which one of these two teams, Aurora or Darling, will take the one slot available for Southeast Asia. If that's what he's choosing to go for. But I'd love to see a rotation down to the bot side from Drake as Yotun looks to be going down again. This is going to be the second time Yotun's giving over first blood. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. Three. To the Twin Gates come Yotun. That's the setup that we're waiting for Oli once again. He's always there. Q is going to punish him. And Yotun's just going to go down. Well, Mars starts to solve right immediately upon his level to stay on your way. Alright, it's Q, the back, right there with the stun and the spear, but Yotan from out of 
where did he come from? Comes around with the Firefly. It's a nice trajectory for the bear, but Yoe runs out of mana. Amel is here to respond. You trade one for one for now, but it's gonna be a two for... So just chase down this bat with the traps. Firefly runs out, and so does his life. Amel, easy pickup for him. Not so. by much, though. Not like not. It's not astronomically different, right? Just a little bit. Flame Bear actually ending up bumping Amel closer to Yo, so the stun's gonna connect and try to make his way to the high ground. Right, Stampede to fish him out of there. Setting up an Ollie in the mid lane, Yo. -ay. To grab this kill before the rotations come through and looks like he'll be able to do so last part but he's out of mana. Can't zip away as Q with the control. He needs some help. Flame break will buy him some time but not enough. Mana drain to oblivion there. Eight minute room will be denied but Armel I don't think he'll be too sad about that unless he dies. The chrono we were talking about it. It's prepared. Method locks up Q as well. With three heroes hitting into him, it should be enough. The 23 has shown up to play. Laguna, it's online but he doesn't have the mana and you can't continue also attacking paddles like that. You need to back up. Right, you want to use it as soon as it's off or on off cooldown. And level six is not that means it's not gonna be on cooldown. Yes. Gone on here, your way on that respawn. That's where the storm is the most dangerous. And they'll work down the mask. Bosco will be eyeing up that veil, no surprises there. You don't really want to kind of stack your own game with an early blink dagger, especially when you're already at the your way. Yeah, up. It's rare to uh No, hold that thought actually. Oh, we're gonna punish Ollie for staying up here. Yo, just come to a twin gate to get it's a beautiful arena stampede, but you're going nowhere. We've talked about this. You lose the Abaddon, you're finally focusing down. But it's a triple kill for 23. Force to try and win these moves happen. Chrono available, but I'm setting up a pilot. I got arena available and the sphere, it connects. Where's the rest of the follow-up though, Q? Trying to close the distance. Beautiful flame break. Sun is still gonna find the baseless void and despite the stampede, it's just enough. They can't slow him down and they'll settle for the tier one instead, no! Middle yeah, that's some Aether Lens bullshit right there, right? Like, you expect that if he has an Aether Yeah, what the heck? I'm still trying to answer back with the 23 kill. Can they burst him down in time? It looks to be the case. No, Ollie! Again and again. The bomb is going to explode and Proximity Mines doing their work. But a semi ravage landed by Q. They've already taken out Techies in your way as well. Bosco trying to TP out up against the overwhelming damage from Amel. Will cut down the Centaur. They are ready to keep on going. Q even has a Blink Dagger himself. A storm boss and who is set up on? On to Q is quite a bit of damage. Great, able to find the connection and now they're onto Armel as well. But Q is such a tanky boy, especially if Ollie back him up. The rest of the side of Darling are filtering in and another beautiful chrono. This is what we needed, but Jet on the other side of the fight, holding down Palos and in comes the Laguna. The faces doesn't stand a chance, but you trade it off for Armel. Anything even goes in your favor, but it might not look so even after all. The spear out again, Jet finding them over and over again. He's been so on point with this that you even see Palos pinging a high ground where there's no vision. Kinda of crazy. Every single time, right on point of the TPs, right on point of the saves. The sequencing is in order as well. So pick up on him even in view of the Solar Crest. So the walls of the arena do go up. They found your way and silence him up. This is trouble even with the flame break, the trap. That's them coming into play. No blink dagger yet and Really, nothing that he's done this game has been too incredible. So we found here a nice LSA to catch him. In spite of that hook stomp, big big trouble. Yoga will come through, and when he just off the kill off boss, they found your way in the mid lane. It's another setup and another kill. Jeff hasn't had a single issue finding these takeoffs. Would you look at that? Another free bat rider. This will be his 8th death of the game. And of course it goes the way of Armel with that. Well, they are a specialist that are closing out games against Darling. That's essentially what they're going to be doing here. Roshan's going to be spawning in 35 seconds. Mid lane, Chrono, finding this 23 Savage Lina all alone. The save can't come in time. All these the last ones to TP and that might spell disaster. They're collapsing onto Armel. Darling, they're finding the opening finally, but Jet! Yo, with Arena is into a bunch of BKBs though. A nice job to view as well as the Lion Sun trying to keep Aurora in this fight. But they're dropping really, really low. And Ollie can't offer up anything else. Armel looking to go down one last little shield. Bosco trying to close the distance. The last auto attack but can't find him. Under the invisibility, Armel will blink away. And somehow, some way, thanks to Ollie yet again, Armel lives.
Bosco, he has the turn tail and run right now. Speared away, it's not gonna connect. A rare miss from Jab, but Q, he's on the case. Looking for an angle, Drake, he'll come in, interrupted by the rebuke. Perfectly played from this mask to turn that fight around. And kick some through, maybe just laughing at each other a little bit, as Armel stands through it all. They know exactly what they're doing, exactly <laughs> where to TP, where to position, when to TP. Maybe not in the right order, uh, but but they still get the job done, right? They still win the fight. Uh, time for your every one and a half minute Jotun death. Yep. He's on track. I mean, oh no, Arena in the mid lane. Any follow up stun? Not in time for your way to pop the BKB, and now he's on the queue. Hello. Straight onto this poor lion as well, and he's gonna go down, but the fight is already broken out. Another beautiful chrono, but Oli, he's outside of it, able to help out with the shield and the miss cause, but it's not gonna be enough to keep Jax alive. Oh, Jolton coming through the buyback, they've got the Narmel, and he's dead! The last one standing is 23 with that BKB, but darling, they found the opening that they need. A bit of overzealousness from Jax, jumping up to the high ground to set up the Yowei, but the BKB from the Storm pays dividends here, as they'll kill 23 the once. Looking at the second life without a BKB, this should be easy picking. It really just remains to be seen whether he's able to kill Drake as well, but no such luck as Oli will just get worked down. It'll take some time. I'll have to return that one. But Nuno Palos is feeling good when the voice lines start coming out and five man team wipe for Darling. I mean, this game is kind of paying off because he's able to be that frontliner. It's just a matter of what we talked about in the draft with Arena inherently just so well. The Stampede comes out right in time. They don't want to commit onto this high ground without any additional vision. Oh, Yowei is jumping in straight onto Armel. The Arena, Jabs was waiting for him on the high ground and now the Storm's in trouble. Force to pop the BKB and he'll get out of there. Starting to converge. The Pat will give them the info that they might be seen right now. Straight on, Chrono in the bot side, Palos. He's found the TA and looking at 23, the Lina, she can't do well when you're all over her. Jeff's definitely trying to come in. That's what the Stampede is for, closing the distance. And 23 doesn't stand a chance despite all his best efforts. Darling, they're finding these openings on the back of these beautiful just grabs from Palos and Gang. And just like that, they wipe fall again, jabs. He's held them back with the wall, but they are not gonna stop this chase. Looking at a time where Lina, who has been very prevalent, I feel like, in the meta right now, all of a sudden. Might be a, a disadvantage. Forward, they found Armel again. Left high and dry, the lingering vision from their previous engagement. You're like, darling, they're finding these crazy openings, and it's it's really refreshing to see, because they're not just going to kill over, they're going to put up a fight. Now on their high ground, a lot of fun coming out, Jack with the setup. Oh, Palos, he's dropping a little low, needs to watch himself stun up. They're putting everything out of the bag to try and keep him alive on the class life. Jet, forced to commit the BKB, but it's run out. The Mars is dead, has a buyback, we've got your arena, what can you do? Goral time, pop by your way in as well. Dancing and jiving here on Darling, they're doing a great job baiting out the cooldowns and the key items from the side of Aurora. Now threatening onto the high ground, quick fingers on the BKB from 23 and the buyback from the Mars. Looks like Kuku has got a bit too deep, still has the BKB though, and he should be able to walk this one off. Jeff again in a lot of trouble, it might just be a dieback for this poor little Mars, and that's what will happen, Palos finds the chrono on Armel and smacks him down the size. They've just brought it to a game number three, it feels like no buyback on your TA and Mars, and 23 will drop to the Give deck. The, the last person standing is Oli, how fitting is Palos. Cleans it up with a rampage. GGGs is called. That's the little bit of money that'll be going to his bank after that insane performance. This serves a bonus after that one for sure. What a game from Darling. And there might not be much left of a series. Darling are one game away from being in Dream League Season 22. Right, it's just gonna be extremely hard if you fall behind the advantage. Yeah. Oh, Yotan getting run down. Jet picking them up. Well, they're still trying to get the touches out onto Palos, but able to get the return kill. Overall, pretty good for this Troll Warlock. Up against the supposed game counter. Uh-oh, Kuku in the bot side. You can't fight up against this Luna with her aura, and they'll just punch down Drake. The passing stun. The Rubik will at least get that EXP and goal. Uh, okay, 23 is just going to give yeah. himself up. I'm going to Jotun here. Should be a nice and easy kill. Even like those pseudo tanky heroes, like enchanters. Hello, on this top side, threatened yet again. Should be an easy one, but the evasion. 
Not sure how that happened, but he's able to get away scot free. Ollie with the setup onto Bosco behind the tower. And Armel was very, very sneaky with that TP out to the bot side. Stayed out of vision. And now right over Cuckoo's head. It is not where you want to be in Venge, like we've said. Does not have the inherent farming capabilities that a lot of other offlaners may have. Yeah, on the Yoten again, but Jack he's dropping low. Nice snowball to try and break up the fight, but they haven't decided on the target. They will finish off the troll. It's a one for one trade as Yoten. He's so so low, but Q cannot actually connect. Look at this Venomancer just being so obnoxious. They can cool. kill me now. Time to back up. I, I'm done with it. Lost his aggression onto him yet again. Nice stun from the tree line. Catches out this Venge. Turn around with a magic missile of his own though, and Yoden's coming through with a beautiful two man little Gale there. They created off for Ollie for now. Armel's here to play as well. Rolling Thunder available as Yoe. Running a little bit of resources. Would love to clean up Q, but a beautiful deny from Jets. It's gonna be Q. By nature, a bit more of a small player. Oh, the swap back, they found 23, but where is the follow-up? Oh, Stolen Loose and Beam, that is troublesome, great. He's gonna be able to put out a lot of damage, but not before Cuckoo takes the tumble. The roll-up, the continued setup onto Yowei, but without any additional control. They choose to back up and settle for Yoten instead. It's a nice shot to lock them in place. Q, he's doing so, so well in this task this game. But still going forward, looking for the punch on the break. Two line and lands that connection. Want to eliminate the possibility of this extended Lucent Beam being on Drake. It's a lot of damage back the other way thanks to that slide. They finally finish off the Rubik, but it's gonna come at the cost of both the Tusk and the Pango. They reach a bit too far in. Uh, I dare say, who cares? Yeah, no, absolutely. Maybe Cuckoo. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> he's not ever in. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I, I god! Guess with the Dude, he even I guess <laughs> off! Not that he'll become universal, but just become this huge target that's able to output a significant amount of damage. Amel, he's found Kufu again. No Ember Spirit nearby to swap this time, he'll just have to dive. Thunder! KB right in time, Ollie there, the Hex and oh the finger, they found your way again! And they'll make the work onto Drake as well! Amel, he'd love to find another and he knows how slow Yoten is, but he doesn't care, he'll just settle for the tower. Knocking on your tier 2s with this Aegis timing and the rest of Aurora, they are hunting. Oh no, they see Bosco, the blink up, punch! They found him! Poor oh, little Cuckoo, where you going? Those wings don't work like they used to before. Jeff's even wanted to get that kill. You can still fish them right in, like you mentioned. Luna doesn't like to be collapsed upon. Thunder coming in, so this free line might just force the DKB pot from Kalos. That's a swap. Bosku getting his troll out of there, and at the very least, they'll clean up Yoten. That's a good start. Meanwhile, the troll forced to run away from Jets, who just has him static linked up. They trade out Ollie on the back lines. Yoe able to get that kill and get back out to safety, hopefully. Still running away, remnant available. Should be zipping out in an instant. What is this? Punched up. No oh, mana to work with, actually. Doesn't go to his initial render, sticks around and will pay the price for it. Not really the move that he wanted as Aurora. I mean, maybe they're thinking no Rolling Thunder, no Eclipse. Might be possible, but it seems like Aurora are privy to this. They go up to the high ground, pop the Lunar Glaives, and just rip the opposition to shreds. Jabs leads the charge, calls his team in for action. Big Daddy comes home, you're like, oh my god, he's home. Fear him. Boring Uncle P comes over, you're like, can we get out of here already? His food isn't even good. <laughs> Trying the best to slow this down, but um just gonna do the job. One you get right. Pop the man up to high ground. Just walk out of there. All you're killing is a line in these engagements. I don't think it's good enough now, Gilson. He's gonna get found again. Poor poor Venomax doesn't stand a chance. Just get ripped apart by the walrus punch. Yo we will get out, but that's his team high value with your pallo. He's gonna start getting static linked up. You might have the BKB, but where can he go? Find TP out! The kick just disrupts that, but that's gonna allow him to create the distance. Ollie has already worked out great. He's taking quite a bit of damage from Yowei. Sliced him down, but again and again, all you find is the lion. And Yowei desperately has the TP out. They aren't able to find him. Wow, oh, what is this? Q! TP's in, he no Palos in, in the area and doesn't have a TP, the chase is on and look who's TPing in, 23 on the cliff! Right onto the high ground, are you kidding me? Just, you know, get a little save or maybe just get jabs to run in and, and, and whip them to Oh, just such easy control! He's gone, 75 seconds! Palos literally just kicked out of his own home. 
he yeah, can't do man. anything about that. Now Yosen, a nice little bodyguard for him in the laning stage, just goes down as well. The shots just to stop Armel from diving any further, like, you know. So, so ahead right now, 26k goldie. That's crazy, it looks like we're going uh, I, I want to say we're going to game 5, but... You never know with this lineup, darling. They'll just get Drick kicked right back in and he doesn't stand a chance. No buyback for that Ruben. Yosen will be coming out in one second, 20 more seconds for Palos. Dude, Jeff, Jeff, chill out. Force pop the BKB now. In a little bit of trouble, even has a satanic, but they bait that in your way, and that is what they were waiting for. Oh, 23 just popped that BKB. Oh, the Glaive's almost finished, Bosco. You gotta watch yourself. They're he going to. He just dies. <laughs> the interesting boy's life. They are having a good time. You can kind of tell from the play already, though. Bosco coming back into the mix. Jeff will lead the charge. Another kick out. Two swapping through. This bench is dead. Illusion doesn't stand for any chance as well. Just jumping forward, Armel with the roll. They've already just integrated that poor boss to invest the buyback. Solar rolling down the quick fingers on Drake will allow him to just do this his way out of here. Again and again, he's been so good with space Oh! Yeah. He will just come out, punch Rick away, but they don't care about that poor Rubik. They're on the front lines, Jabs might have to start thinking about backing up, but oh, a beautiful stun. Ollie sets it up, knocks them both out. And godlike for 23 as he just stands with his slaves all around him. They don't stand a chance. And looks like yeah. Crash will be going to a game three. Ah, game three, game five. <laughs> After being close with two zeros for this entire qualifier, Yoe trying desperately to cut the creep wave. You might be able to cut down the lion. But again and again, that is all that you get. And Ollie, he'll be laughing his way to the bank of that one to disconnect from Yoe. Toxic, Toxic in the all chat. I mean, I'm sure he's just playing around. I'm not. Oh, okay. We're real, oh. real disconnect this time. They, okay, they call oh, yeah, GG. It's, it's, it's just so. the auto disconnect. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Yeah. Okay. Game, game five. The curse has been broken. In game five of the grand finals, Crash and Sneeze here bring you the action. I mean, yeah, the trick is just. Not the hero, though. No, not the hero. The the Drick. Uh, guy who's doing this almost like a routine. Palos, pump faking that LSA, will be able to tag out onto Q. With the Crypt Swarm, nice fairy fire, they get the kill first. Goes over to Jabs, trading out as he's just gonna be able to start to walk down Palos. Speaking of dealing, we talked about the Brute Mother not ganking. Here mother. is Yowei slowing him down and starting to dive. Oli here to save the day again with the attack slows and they're punching onto this poor Brute Mother, getting slowed up. The magic damage over time, it's not gonna be enough. The last bit of fire spirits. Desperately trying to retreat into the tree line, but they have eyes on this brood mother. And she will go down, not the rotation that you wanted. And Amel is here as well. One net, it's all it's gonna take, but they have a shot. Just a couple in. The tag teams with the Meepo starting to beat into poor little boss Cuckoo. And Ollie will burn him down. Double kill for this Phoenix. And not really the start that Darling were looking for. Meanwhile, bot side, Palos is getting threatened by Jabs, but a bit too aggressive on this Death Prophet, it seems like. Doesn't have another Crypt Swarm for half a second. I guess they're just kind of lacking in the damage department. That's why I was saying, you know, Yotun, maybe he needs to sort of pop by. But we saw what happens if he wasn't there to save Palos. He'd be in a lot of trouble now, utilizing that level 6. Great stuff. The setup onto poor Jabs, and the DP will go down. Who are a bit unclear. There's a very uh, popular guide book. On page number one, it says you. Need to try and force the opponent carry out of lane with Crypt Swarm. And speaking of being forced out of lane, Bosco is just dead. But here comes the full squad of Darling. They want to punish. Jumping forward onto the real hero, Drake. He's going to be looking for a stun, but already in the true form. Ollie here again with the Sunray. Beautiful Savage Raw to hold them back. And uh oh, the roots. This is not what Yowei wanted on this Brute Mother. Dive forward as well. And the last little bit of a snowball, you can't even web up to the high ground. And Armel a bit late to the party, but he wants to play. All he needs is a net. Toss you back. Slightly gonna go wide. A little bit awkward now as, what, four heroes start filtering here? But it's a perfect shot. The rest of Darling, they don't want to let this go lightly though. A beautiful LSA holding Armel in place. He needs to poof out and he'll be just fine. The Spirit Bread might be the next target. Looks like uh, they'll be able to... Just kind of get out of there pretty scot-free. Another magic missile available, but the rest of the team kind of got blocked up on that cliff. He hasn't even seen the tier 1 Radiant Tower in a hot minute. Yeah. He hasn't seen a creep in a hot minute. Set up in the mid lane. 
Amel in some trouble again. Nice toss back and a much needed kill. They might just continue on to jabs as well, but not wanting to overcommit. Yeah, the crazy thing is we haven't seen anything like an egg or like a properly committed EXO other than that jump. Oh, Amel, he's just straight into that Lina, but that's what the swap is there for. Beautiful stuff from Drake to fish Palos out of trouble. They turn around Gleipnir, they have to touch on the jabs. Even in the face of that Laguna Blade, he's fine thanks to Oli, who's there with the Sunray. So much healing, even preserve their ages on the Lina, but this Tormentor timing, this smoke, it's perfect. Amel, he's found them straight on to that poor bench, and Palos loses his first life. Bosku desperately trying to finish off the Tormentor, but he doesn't have the damage. He's gonna lose it, as well as his carry. Oli gets the shot, and that is going to amplify the Sunray damage by such a country mile. We've seen Aurora sort of toss away their advantage in this area before straight onto Palos they see him Shivas with the slow where's the rest of the squad they can't get here in time the Masi's gonna come through just to watch her Lina drop to the floor and oh unfortunate the right I'm pretty sure every single shards have connected except for that one still have yet to see this brute mother get much done on the map we'll try and pressure things out here actually pop the BKB even just kind of play a little bit with Amel and uh, that's gonna prove to be a mistake your way Stranded himself here, and Q will gladly warrior punch him to death. Oh, jabs being so annoying there. The pump fake, those little arms came out, baiting out that glyph, and immediately the swap back. You might just get the touch on the lone druid, he's falling low, and Palos, he's able to finish off 23 Savage, but it comes at the cost of both your bench and Marcy. Buyback is available, and it almost feels like Aurora, they want to commit because this exo's been popped. Q coming through with the roll immediately, the buyback's on the spot, but can they make it here in time? Burning away because of that Sunray, the shard, it's gonna do so much work as Q narrowly, narrowly dies there. The Marcy able to finish him off, it's a dieback. Bosku in some trouble as well as Mega Meepo standing his ground and standing tall at that. You use up your way, but there isn't any follow up. This is falling apart here, for darling. That's about it. And that's not really a very convincing situation. You'll silence up our Mel now, but it's just you. Jabs will just turn around and kill your Venge, and Drake is died back. We haven't seen a lead like this in a hot minute. Dude, it's not really, and, and if this is just how things end here, it will be unceremonious, especially Palos just being kicked back, forced to just BKB, finally connecting on the swap, but Drake has to sacrifice his life once again, no buyback for another two minutes. Like, juicy, juicy prizes at the arcade stall. He's you can't close. show on Lena. You can't, you can't, he's just gonna come in, do it again, Q, he's found Palos, and Palos goes down, 60 seconds without him, and no buyback, but they will do a lot of damage, immediate buyback on the Tusk though, but Bosku and Yowei, they have no chance, the connection might be there, but it's not enough to defeat Aurora, they just stand their ground, everyone's full HP, you just buyback on Q and Yowei, he's just gonna get swatted down like the bug that he is, and 23, some tips coming out to his former captain, congrats, they're just smiling. I mean, they've come really close and we always keep talking about how at some point it might not have been a joke anymore. It might not have been.